Hello everyone, Joe Welch is here from Colonial RV. If you've ever dreamed of owning an RV and hitting the open road, buying a used one can be a great way to make that dream come true. But there are some key things to you that you're gonna to need to know to make sure that you're getting a good deal and not a lemon on wheels. Today we're gonna to dive into the top 10 essential things to look for when you're buying a used camper van, RV, or motorhome. So buckle up and let's get started. First and foremost, you're going to need to consider the mechanical condition of the RV. It might have all the creature comforts, but if it can't get you from A to B, then it's just an expensive lawn ornament. Go over all the vital mechanical parts like the engine, the transmission, the brakes, the tires, and other components. Start by checking for the obvious, cracked plastic, loose belts, and if possible, take it on a test drive. Listen for weird noises, weird brake squeaks, and look for oil leaks or any any liquid leaks at all after the test drive. Remember, safety comes first, and overlooking mechanical issues could not only ruin your travel plans, but could also endanger you and your family. Number two is water damage. Trust me folks, water damage is like an iceberg. What you see is often just a fraction of what is lurking beneath the surface. It can cause major structural issues and it could also lead to mold. So check for signs of leaks of water, especially stains around windows, doors, roof vents, seams, and slide outs. If you see some discoloration, don't just shrug it off because that could be just the tip of the iceberg. Moving on to appliances. An RV offers the convenience of home and malfunctioning appliances can severely hamper that experience. Whether it's the refrigerator not cooling properly or the heater not working on a chilly night, you want to avoid these unpleasant surprises. Make sure to test every appliance thoroughly, including the stove, the oven, the air conditioner, and the water heater. Here's a pro tip. Bring in a small device that you can plug into every outlet and test to see if they have power. Next, we've got the plumbing system. This is one area that's often overlooked by first-time RV buyers, but a leaking faucet might not seem like a big deal until you're trying to sleep and you hear that constant dripping sound. And a malfunctioning toilet, well, you get the picture. So just make sure to check all the faucets, the shower, and the toilet. Make sure that they're all in good working order. Don't forget to inspect the waste system, and if possible, run water through all the tanks and test that all systems on board are functioning well. The last thing you want is a vacation that gets ruined by plumbing issues. Number five, this is the electrical system. This is the heart of your RV's living space. It powers your lights, your appliances, and your devices. Check your batteries, check your generator, the lights, and all the outlets. If the RV has solar system, make sure to check that too. If you have a battery monitoring system, make sure that your batteries are charging properly, both on the solar and when connected to shore power. A lot of battery issues we see here are simply from misuse. Let's talk about the roof and seals. These are key items for your RV's frontline defense against the elements. Inspect the roof for any signs of cracks or wear and tear. Check the seals around the roof and windows, looking for any places where water might find a way in. Here's a tip. If you see any signs of resealing, ask the previous owner about it. Regular maintenance is good, but a fresh seal could also mean a recent leak. Number eight is interior condition. Once you've inspected the exterior, it's time to move inside. Check the condition of the furniture, the flooring, the walls, and the ceiling. Look for signs of water damage like warping, stains, or musty smell. Check for spots on the floors and open and close all the windows and doors ensuring that they operate smoothly. Remember, you're not just buying a vehicle, you're buying a home on wheels. Coming up at number nine is mold and smell. A musty smell or the presence of mold can be a serious issue. This could indicate past water damage, inadequate ventilation, or issues with the waste system. An RV should smell fresh and clean. If it smells damp or musty, that could be a sign of hidden problems. If the owner has a bunch of air fresheners scattered around, they might be trying to hide an unpleasant odor. And finally, at number 10 is the overall comfort and the layout. The best RV in the world won't make you happy if it doesn't feel like home. Consider the size of the bed, the comfort, the kitchen layout, and whether the bathroom is big enough for you. Try out the seats, lie on the bed, stand in the shower, and imagine yourself living in the space. If something doesn't feel right, trust your gut. Your perfect RV is out there, and you're going to know it when you see it. Well, folks, that about wraps up our top 10 checklists for buying a used RV. Remember, an informed buyer is a happy buyer, 
Don't forget that here at Colonial RV, we have a massive selection of pre-owned RVs, everything from camper vans to travel trailers and more. And you can have peace of mind knowing that all our used units go through a rigorous 138 point inspection plus a deep cleaning to ensure issues like the ones we talked about will never happen to you.